Well, let me uh, ask about Jacques. Uh, who is he? Um, you know him. Who is Jacques Vallée? What have you learned from him? About life, about, oh <laughs> about, <laughs> about um, UFOs, about technology, about our role in the universe. Well, I met Jacques actually soon after the whole Atacama thing happened. Um, I was visited by those people associated with the government and the whatever around the um, the Havana, what ended up mostly being Havana syndrome patients, but also Jacques at the same time. And they were actually working behind the scenes with each other that, oh, here's this Stanford professor who is willing to talk about this stuff and investigate things. Um, maybe we should go talk to him. And he he reached out through a colleague, and he and I had lunch actually um, at the Rosewood Inn um, up on uh, near Sandhill. So Jacques is one of the first openly active scientists, uh, and he's really a scientist in this area, going back to the 1960s. Um, and uh, you know he's put forward a number of ideas, speculations about what it might be that people are interacting with. And he, the first thing that I learned from him is this notion of what he called kabuki theater, that many of the things that people have seen are, I remember reading his books and thinking, he uses this word absurd a lot. <laughs> um, he said, the, the things that people claim they see are absurd, right? A, 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 a ship doesn't land in a farmer's field and then come up and knock on the door and say, can I have a glass of water? And these are stories literally out of newspapers from the 1930s. Mm -hmm. it's, it's absurd. Yeah. You know, and the other thing that people say, ships don't crash. If you're so technologically advanced, you don't crash. It's absurd mm -hmm. that they crash. So um, he says, this is put on as a show. It's meant to, it's an influence campaign. Mm -hmm. Right, it's it's not meant to influence individuals. It's meant to influence a culture as a whole. Maybe they don't look at us as individuals. Maybe they look at us as an organism that lives on a planet, right? And perhaps rightfully so. And so that's how you interact with them. That's how you influence them. So that was one of the first things that kind of took me back and realized, wow, there's actually a maybe there's a puppet master behind the scenes that's you know, doing this influencing and that all this stuff about aliens is just, is not true per se. They're just a representation of something mm -hmm. that is meant to influence. So that was probably the most interesting thing. I mean, the, the man is brilliant. Uh, he's also, in, in, can be, and I'm sorry, Jacques, he can also be incredibly annoying to have a conversation with yeah. because he will pick apart your arguments or anything that you think you know and show you why you don't know what you think you know. And, and he uses the he used the example that for me that is 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 that all you need is one counter example to any conclusion, and you're wrong. And so I learned from him. I mean, I'm supposed to be a good scientist, but I learned from him. Don't talk about conclusions; just talk about the data, because data is not wrong. I mean, convince yourself that the data is not wrong or not an artifact. But be careful about your conclusions because whatever is going on, it's it's much more complicated than we than we imagine. Wow, that's powerful. Being able to st always step back because we get we humans get excited. Yeah, we start to uh, jump to conclusions from the data, but always step back. Well, powerful. Being able to st always step back because we get we humans get excited. Yeah, we start to uh, jump to conclusions from the data, but always step back. Well, in some of my Twitter feeds, when I dare to go on Twitter, are full of well, when are you going to give us the answer? Well, you, you know, science is not immediate. You gotta have to be patient. And even some of my science colleagues have said, well, where's the data? My answer to them has been, where's been your work to try to produce any? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm not here to give you everything on a silver platter. 